who y'all is hot? Papa over here in this brown truck is trying to flirt. But he better take his old stiff on somewhere. Look at the beautiful skies. It looks beautiful out there. Love it. It's a beautiful day. I was passing by the swimming suits and I'm like, nope, we're going in the house. It's too hot. I'm going to cook. Relax. Okay, here's my bag. This is what I left out with. I only I got three avocados. I got some shrimp. And the girl talked me into some darn popcorn that they were making. A donation to some kind of children something. And I got some popcorn. This is like my only day off because I worked a little bit on Saturday for my other job, my full-time job, my job that pays me. <laughs> and then after that, I did a live. After I did that live, I ran um, to the store to get some freaking avocados, but the Walmart over there had zero. And then I left out of there with two items that I didn't go in there for because I only went in there for avocado. That's why I'm back at the store. I actually wouldn't be at the store today. I get tired of going to the store every single day almost. The only reason I'm here at this store is because the Walmart, the like the super Walmart over here had no avocados. This one here had a lot and they had soft ones and I'm so happy about that. Yay for me because I love avocado toast. And so, yeah, I just, I got three of them. Because going to the store every day, I got one at home, but the one I got at home is like hard as a brick. So it's going to be about three, four days before that one gets soft. That's the thing about avocados. By the time you get it unsoft, you don't even want it. I mean, I ain't thought about what, if I made it to make a toast, and then by the time it, it gets soft, I don't even want the toast no more. Yeah. But avocado is a good healthy toast option for me. I seen somebody today though, I was, I was trying to find some different recipes to make with avocado toast. And I seen this guy fry egg, but I'm like the toast, the avocado is already enough of a good high fat. You really don't need an egg. You only need an egg unless you're starving. Some mornings I wake up starving because I didn't eat anything, you know, like for 24 hours or, or so many hours. But if I'm not starving, uh, just an avocado toast will do me good. I don't really need extra, extra, extra stuff. Yeah, I don't see where I need all that, so. <clears throat> So I'm just going to make an avocado toast with all the stuff I put on it. Guys, I'm going to show you a picture of the avocado toast that I make. And also, I'm not sure how much of this footage I'm going to put up because I'm fixing to start changing my footage. I'm going to or actually start really doing some stuff instead of running errands. So I'm trying to, so bear with me. I'm trying to um, like plan some stuff to do. So I can take you guys with me somewhere doing something instead of just in the car doing running errands. I know I do that like every week, but that's what I do. And I don't have no shame in it. That's my life. I run errands, I work, I cook, I eat, and I go to sleep. It's not a very interesting life is that. <laughs> Woo, but that's what I do. You know, kind of like Rihanna say, work, 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 work. You know, just work, work. This seems like that's all I be doing. Monday through Friday, I'm working. The weekends, I'm running the errands that I didn't get to run on the week. And I'm the type of person where I be running my errands through the week. But when it's hot like this, I don't. I just keep them to the weekend mornings. Because I don't want to be out here in the seat. It's hot out here. I don't want to be out here unless I have to. And I'd rather get that avocado now than, you know, trying to get it some other time. Actually, I would have had it yesterday. Hell, if Walmart had had some avocados, I'm not sure what the deal was with that. There was none in sight. 
and they normally have a big old like bucket full of uh, avocados in the, in the bucket or whatever they call that those things but yesterday that was zero yeah, but at this neighborhood store it was a lot of them they were soft and that's what I like now last week y'all see me go and get which when you see this video it won't be last week it'll probably be two three weeks from that time but I got avocado toast at the La La Land and I stopped and got me one at Tum Thumb. And that avocado was $1.50 for a little old bitty small. I was like, hell no. So I don't do a lot of shopping at Tum Thumb. Tum Thumb is not my favorite store. I will go in Tum Thumb when it's on my way somewhere and I'm like needing to go there really fast and quick. I'm not a Tum Thumb shopper. Tum Thumb is way overpriced. I'm really not sure why they're so overpriced, but they are. They're like extremely overpriced. One avocado was a dollar ninety. I'm like, what the freaking crap? But I bought it because I didn't want to go to another store. It just, it just didn't make no sense to go to another store when I was already sitting in that parking lot talking to y'all. So. I just left them this Walmart, the avocados were 70 cents and I got three of them. So I got three for the price of that little bitty one. I get on this avocado kick, making avocado toast and then I stop. Yeah, it's, it's cheaper than going to La La Land. La La Land, when I go there, a toast and a coffee is almost $20. Um, here, when I'm at home, I already got toast at home and I bought avocado, 70 cents. Can you imagine the amount of the price of that difference? And I already got coffee, I want some coffee. So yeah, it's, things are overpriced in these stores nowadays. I like to cook, so that's what I'll start doing too. And I'm fixing to make some um, fettuccine Alfredo. So I'm gonna take you guys along in the kitchen with me to watch me cook that uh, shrimp Alfredo. I like to cook because my food tastes better than them anyway but I don't know about my avocado tasting better than that La La Land's because they be doing some some foolery to that avocado toast it be good Ooh. the only thing is when I got it one time on, with an egg by accident if I order the egg on top of mine at the one in my actual neighborhood I don't go to the one in my actual neighborhood because when I go, the avocado is real cold. It just tastes like they got everything out the freezer. The one over here in, I think it's Farmer's Branch. The avocado over there, guys, oh my gosh, it's always warm and good. Okay, let's go in the house. Okay, babes, starting over again. I had, I was watching one of my YouTube girls, well, actually listening to one of her um, videos and you could not hear me. But anyway, we are starting to make our shrimp Alfredo. So first off, I want to show you what I have um, right now. So, sorry, I've probably got the camera going all over the place. So I have onion chopped really fine, a purple onion. I have um, some garlic chopped. I do have some other fine garlic that I'm going to be putting in there, but I like to put the really big pieces in there because when you eat your Alfredo, you chop on these. Oh, it's so good. And then I have three different type of peppers, a jalapeno pepper, and I don't know what the name of these are, but I get them at the, I think I got these peppers at the Chinese market. So I'm not going to actually like keep these in my Alfredo sauce because right now I'm going to stir fry these and after that I'm going to start then putting in my white sauce in here but um, I'm not going to keep these in here like forever I'm just going to cook it up in my food and then I'll take these out once I get my alfredo sauce really cooked and and ready I'm just I just have them in here now so that it can give flavor to everything. So let me go ahead, turn turn it up a little bit. And so I just have this really big uh, pan that I'm cooking it in. I actually got this pan at um, Ikea years ago. As you can see, all the scratches, yeah, I've cooked in it quite a bit. 
So we're not gonna put the finely chopped garlic in there right now. Right now, we're just gonna do this and we're gonna cook it up. And then after that, I'm going to put the shrimp in there and I'll show you the uh, shrimp that I've prepared. Okay guys, now we're over to the sink. This is the shrimp that I have prepared. I just have some really big uh, raw deveined shrimp. Um, and then I have all of my um, kind of Alfredo, no Cajun seasoning I have. And then I have like some different seasonings like, um, let me see, what is the name of that seasoning? I got it over, it's an herbal type seasoning that I got at um, HEB. And I can show you my seasoning as well, but I did want to show you, I have it over here sitting in the uh, bowl, just sitting. So I'm going to fry this once I get my other stuff fried up, like my onion and everything. So let's go over and I'll show you what seasoning I'm using. Okay, babes, now we have put the shrimp over with the rest of the vegetables and everything. I mean, yeah, the rest of the, like the garlic and the peppers and all that. So we are just gonna let this shrimp cook and get juicy and ready. And then after the shrimp gets ready, we're gonna start putting in our liquids um, and everything. So, yeah. Okay, so now I've already um, put my seasoning on my shrimp, but I will add it to my Alfredo as needed. So I have this Cajun style spicy um, seasoning that I put in there. And you guys know I love my slap your mama, but I have to be careful because this can be very salty. And then for the herbs, I have this spice here that I got from HEB. It's called Spice Hunter Global Blend. And it's a herb de Provence. I've seen that on some recipe and I've been using it in all my food. It tastes delicious. So, and then I'm going to put some garlic sauce and garlic um, seasoning. Sorry, I don't know why I'm saying sauce some onion powder, some minced onion that I've, I'll put in there. I will put a little paprika in there. Of course, I'll put some pepper. I don't put salt. That slap your mom is enough salt. I'll put some crushed red peppers. Now this one here is not gonna be for my grandbaby. This is only for me or his mama. And then I'm going to put some of this rosemary uh, seasoning in there and I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my Alfredo, a little bit of for the B12 nutrition. And then I put a little of this already on my um, shrimp. So we won't be putting no more in it because we don't want it to be salty. Okay, babes, I'm gonna show you some progress that I have made. Um, this is the Alfredo sauce. Well, it's actually, you know, not even ready just yet, but it, it'll be thickened up here in just a moment. So this is what I'm saying. I kept those peppers in there just for the spice, but I will be taking those peppers out. But this sauce here is not for my grandbaby, of course. And then um, I will be putting some of this Parmesan cheese that I got from Trader Joe's in there. And then the next video clip you will see, you will see me plating it in my plate. Hello, lovely people. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Today is, this vlog is probably going to be all over the place because I have footage on my DSi and then I also have footage on uh, my camera. So I'm trying to put it all together and that's why I don't like seeing what day it is because you may not get these days in order. <laughs> I'm going to try my best though. I'm going to try my best. I am on my way. I have two grocery stores to go to today. So guys, I am going to take you along grocery shopping with me. Today is Thursday. Uh, I normally do not go on a Thursday, but I'm changing it up a little bit this week because I wanna make sure that I prepare my meals for next week. And um, I have some other things that I need to do and I don't want them all to have like happen all on the same day and tire me out. So I'm going to go pick up things to fix meals and things that I'm just completely out of. Uh, Walmart, I do not like, I do not grocery shop at Walmart, but Walmart has the frozen fruit that I like. Um, and then some other things. I have a list, but not all of it is going to actually come from Walmart. 
stuff like my frozen fruit I get there oh they have a really big I think it's them if it's not them it's HEB I like the really big container of I think it's Walmart because last time I was in HEB I didn't find it a really big veggie broth I've, I'm always making soups and I'm always making something with veggie broth so or chicken or something I don't really care I don't have to have veggie but I like the big containers so that I can have it for a while because I don't season my soup with a lot of veggie broth. I just put a little bit in there. I put like half of the container and then I use it for something else. So, yeah. Oh, I am not running out there, dude. You can blow behind me if you want to. You can go around me. Yeah, I mean, cars are coming and they're like behind me blowing. I don't think so. I don't go out in front of moving cars. You ain't that in a hurry. You ain't going nowhere but home. And I'm going to the grocery store, so I'm not in a hurry. But anyway, so yeah, I need some veggie broth. Uh, I need peppers. Um, I don't get my fruit there. I get my fruit at H-E-B. I get, yeah, all my lemons, all my fruit is going to be there. Uh, just a few things I get at Walmart. But like I said, they have like the fruit, the frozen fruit that I like to make my smoothies. I just made me a smoothie today. It was really good and I'm completely out of frozen fruit. So we are going to run to the store, guys. Come along with me to the grocery store. This is what I end up getting. I got some grapes. I picked up some coffee. Got me some red stripe because I love this beer. And I got some avocados along with some wine. Um, I'm not really sure why I picked up this coffee, but we'll try it out and see. I'm working, yes. I'm at my desk. I'm working. I just wanted to see how everybody was doing. Let me turn the TV down. I watched my girl. Let me see. What is her name? Her name is Stephanie Perry. I've told you guys about her before. Um, I was listening to her while I work, and um, I thought I would just say hello how's everybody doing thought I'd pull a little clip in there I normally never put clips in of me at home and I'm like you got to start putting some clips in with you at home what you do what your life is about as you guys know I do work from home but today's a Saturday and I'm working from home so I thought I would just put a little clip in just you know take a little few minutes break and just say hello how's everybody doing um, I hope you guys are doing well. I do have a video. I actually just recorded a video for my mental health weekend. So you'll probably see that one before you see this vlog because I do have another vlog coming up before this one will come out. So yeah, just wanted to see how everybody's doing. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are out having fun instead of sitting here working like me on a Saturday. Yeah, but either way it goes, everything is good. Um, just wanted to pop in see how everybody's doing so what I'll do is I will conclude this video a little bit later um maybe I'll get some footage I already have my dinner oh you know what I'm actually it's lunch it was well, way past lunch it's kind of like dinner time I am going to uh get me something to eat I'll show you guys what um I'm fixing actually I'll show you guys hold on okay guys I'm here close to the event. I'm fixing to stop at this Chick-fil-A. So I thought I would go ahead and turn y'all back on. I was trying to get my directions correct. Because y'all know how this GPS be sending you different kind of ways. So anyway, I had to make sure that I was going the correct way. I know where I'm going. So I'm going to stop at Chick-fil-A because I'm hungry. It is 10 o'clock. It's 1027. I don't supposed to be in my event till 11. 
So I'm gonna stop at this Chick-fil-A. I don't really want like no meal. I don't know what I want though. So anyway, I'm gonna turn y'all to the side because I don't want a girl to be like, no. Good, how are you? Good, thank you. What's a good name for you? Uh, Ann. Ann, what can I get you, ma'am? You know, I'm not really sure. Let me look at your little thing there. You see, you have a chicken and biscuit. It is breakfast time, but I've already had coffee. What's on that egg white grill? Um, it's egg whites, uh, American cheese, and then the grilled chicken. Okay. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Let me do that. Yes, ma'am, the meal? Uh, no, just the sandwich. I gotcha. Anything else for you? Uh, that'll be it. Yes, ma'am. Any sauce, chili, or honey for you? Uh, no, I think I'm good on all that. All right. Egg white grill muffin will be five forty for you today. Okay. I should be a little bit more organized. You're good. Uh, let's see. Oh my lord! Oh, there we go. All right, you tap or insert. And you're good to go, boy. Thank you. You too. Okay. Yeah, I got me a sandwich because I'll be here um, till two, and I'm not really sure what's to eat in here. So it's not really it's not an eating event. So let me take my thing off. I am gonna try to get out and show you guys my outfit. I have just a long blue, long sleeve, but I rolled up the sleeves. And I wear long sleeves when I have events because sometimes you go in places and it's it's like cold. And I don't like being cold. Oh. So, I keep me a jacket in my car. I always keep me a jacket in the car. Because y'all know sometimes you go in places and it's freaking freezing. And you got to sit there and freeze until this thing is over. And I'm not trying to do that. So, oh my, they got a long line. Yeah, I already had coffee at, at home because I got up this morning early for work and I just had a cup of coffee then, so I don't need no coffee. I actually need to be drinking my water. So I'm gonna just get my water back here and drink it and eat this egg white sandwich. I've never had their egg white sandwich, so we'll see how this tastes. But guys, I am going to get off because I'm not gonna eat my sandwich in y'all face. I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to eat my little sandwich. I normally fix breakfast, but today is a Saturday, and I normally don't even work on Saturdays. This was like, you know, they asked us to do some overtime, so I just, I went on and, and um, well, actually, they didn't ask us. It's a mandatory overtime. Have y'all ever heard of that? Mandatory? I haven't. I've never worked anywhere. I've had to do mandatory overtime. So... I'm doing that and then uh, like I said I cut my work in half so that I could go to this event because this was something that I uh, agreed to um, probably a month ago so I'm gonna do this and then going back home to work again after that I'm going to just chill I've been trying to do some resting uh, I didn't pick up the camera on the 4th of July uh, happy 4th of July to you guys I didn't do anything I actually re relaxed my daughter went over to her dad's family's house to uh, a 4th of July event but I stayed home and she asked me my daughter must have called me and asked me about this event like five or six times and I'm like girl I am gonna stay at home and I am going to chill Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, guys, I got my sandwich before anybody else. How nice was that? Um, okay. So, let me see. Where am I going? I'm trying to get out of here. Um, so, um, my daughter had kept asking me would I go to the, the thing that they had going on for the 4th of July, but guys, I have been so tired. I did overtime at my full-time job. I've been doing it for like two weeks because they've been so backed up. I've been doing just my voluntarily overtime, but now it is 
I hate these little things when they like in circles. Do I supposed to be going straight? I think so. So now I'm doing mandatory overtime after I volunteered to do overtime. I'm really going in a mace. I'm not sure, I think. Okay, maybe we'll go back this way. But yeah, so I said next weekend, we going to get the nails done. I'm taking myself out to eat and I'm gonna do a little shopping, a little retail therapy because I feel like I was so tired last night. I was tired on the 4th. So if I would have went to an event, I would have been just doing it out of obligation. And I don't believe in doing anything out of obligation. I believe in getting your rest when you feel like you need it. You don't always have to be somewhere doing something, especially at the age I'm at now. When I was younger, I remember when family, I think that's it over there. When family would ask me to do stuff and I would feel obligated because they're family and you know, if people say, oh, will you do this? Can you do that? Can you come to the barbecue? Can you do, and I would do stuff because like I said, I would feel obligated. But honey, I'm, mm -mm, I'm too old to feel obligated now. If I don't feel like it or if I'm tired, I'm not going. Yeah, no obligation over here, baby. But back in the day when I was younger, yeah. Uh, I've got my I got me some rest because my body felt like it did because I was like coming in early staying late and mind you I work from home but still if you're waking up early you're you're working late and then I missed a lot of my workouts so that's another thing that I'm like girl we finna to have to catch up on our working out cuz yeah but anyway guys let me get off this phone because I'm just running my mouth like I always do but I'm gonna get off this phone and eat my sandwich because I done made it to the place. I'm gonna eat my sandwich. And then after the event, on my way home, I may pick up the phone again. Bye. Why am I always in the store looking for something for my grandson? I wanted to get him some of these, but I don't see his size. Sunday lovely people how are all my people's doing I hope you guys are doing wonderful today is Sunday I just finished watching service online while I did a little work <laughs> so right now I am about to go to the store but I'm gonna stop and see my grandbaby before I go to the grocery store uh, I'm on my way to HEB, but I told my daughter uh, I was going to stop and see the baby for a few minutes. So I'm going to do that. You know what I should have done? I should have took my DJY, DJI, sorry, I'm really pronouncing that wrong. I should have uh, brought that with me so I could take a little footage because I need to start using that during camera I bought. Yeah, I should have, but child, I'm already halfway out the house. And he's he's getting ready to take his nap in about an hour or so. I'm going to go and visit him before he goes down for nap. Because he hasn't seen Granny in a while. You guys haven't seen him on my channel in about, what, three weeks? I've been working and everything. And so, next weekend, uh, hopefully, if we can get some of this backlog taken care of, I'll have off. Um, and if I have off, I've decided I'm going to do a little self-care weekend. I was going to go and get me a hotel room, but I don't know. I feel like my sheets are cleaner than a hotel room and my house is cleaner. I really do because I keep my place really clean, but I know going to a hotel is just the experience, you know, but yeah, I changed my mind. I thought about it, but I was like, girl, no, we ain't going to go to no hotel. So, if I have next weekend, if I have this weekend, it will be this weekend. This is starting a new week. So, if I have this weekend off and we've got this backlog taken care of, I'm just, oh, it's hot. Turn some air on. I decided to uh, do a little shopping. I'm going to take myself to go eat. I think I said some of this yesterday on a video. But I think that video is, I don't know. I be trying to get footage. And sometimes you be saying the same thing again. So forgive me if you hear me saying the same thing over. Sometimes you just, you say it again because you forgot you said it on the other vlog. But yeah, 
yeah. So I think I'm gonna do a little shopping, uh, go get me something to eat, take myself out and eat, have a little self-care date. I'm gonna get my nails done because one have actually chipped. And I don't know if I'm gonna cut them down before I get there. I literally need to buy that. I had it, I don't know what I did with it. I had that little clipper thing that cut your nails down. I need to cut my nails because I don't I don't give them no extra money to cut my nails. I cut my own nails because I know how to do it myself. But I'm wondering if I'm gonna let them grow just a little bit more if I'm gonna go get it. I think I'm gonna get it done one more time. And then after that, I'm gonna cut them. And I'm actually gonna order that thing off of Amazon. But yeah, um, I'm gonna do that this weekend, if I have off. I hope I do, because I actually got up early on a Sunday to work. So, and I'm getting up early tomorrow to work. And, and if these people ain't got their stuff together, I don't know what to tell them, because I'm tired. Because my daughter had asked me if I wanted to take the baby with me, and I'm like, girl, no, I'm tired. Amazon car. Oh, that brings me to, I'm going to do a Amazon bag haul here in a week or so. Well, by the time you guys see it, it'll probably be two weeks from this video. But uh, I was trying to find some bags that would arrive around the same time because some of the bags look like they would arrive this week and then some was saying two weeks from now and I'm like, no, I'm going to get all bags that can arrive at the same time. But you know how Amazon is. That don't mean they all won't arrive at the same time. Amazon will say it'll be there Monday and it'll be Friday. Yeah, they be doing that. I don't even know why they got that Prime now because they be lying. I've never eaten at that Dave's chicken place over there. But yeah, um... I'm gonna do a bag haul. I'm gonna find five nice bags on Amazon and do a haul. So I'm gonna be look out for that. I'm gonna be doing that um, probably in a couple of weeks after this video. And then I thought about doing like a sunglass haul from Amazon because Amazon have some nice sunglasses. I have bought so many sunglasses from Amazon, y'all, that I don't even wear. And why I don't wear them is because my glasses, when I get out in the sun, they turn into sunglasses. So I don't really wear those, all those glasses that I purchased on Amazon. But I wanted to do a little haul so I could show you guys um, all the glasses that Amazon have. They have a lot. lot uh, they have a lot of like inspired, uh, designer inspired glasses. And then they just have a lot of nice glasses. I've gotten a lot. I have at least about 10 pair that I bought over the years. I was gonna do a Amazon haul with them, but I didn't want to do a haul if, if those glasses are not even in stock. So I'm just gonna purchase some other ones. I'll, I'll probably purchase like five sunglasses and five bags and split it up into two videos. Yeah. Do the, the bags first and then order the sunglasses after that. So, be looking out for some hauls because I haven't done it in a while and I miss doing those hauls. I like doing those, showing you guys. And uh, I was watching an Amazon haul the other day and I was like, man, I ain't done an Amazon. I haven't done a haul. And they don't have to be an Amazon. I don't think I ever done an Amazon. I may have done one a long time ago. But I haven't done like bags or anything. And then, child, I was on Amazon and I seen a Kate Spade bag. And I was like, girl, no, we getting affordable bags. We're not getting Kate Spade because that bag was almost $200. I'm like, no, nah, we're going to get the, I'm going to try to do bags like 30 and under, not 200. Ooh, so chill. 
excuse me for yawning. I'm tired, y'all. I drank some coffee sitting at my desk. I drank some coffee, but I didn't drink much because I feel like I'm gonna take a nap. So this is my game plan for today. Today, I'm gonna go visit my grandbaby. After I visit my grandson, I'm gonna go to HEB. And at HEB, I'm just picking up my fruit and vegetables for the week. I go. I know you guys see me going to the store every week, but you can't buy like fruit and vegetables to last for like two, three weeks. You have to do that weekly. Your produce has to be picked up weekly, which I'm not a big meat eater. I don't really ever buy any meat. So I just buy a lot of produce. When you see me going to the store, if I buy some produce, I'm getting some salmon or some shrimp. But 90% of the time I'm going to get produce y'all know produce be going bad and I used to would pick up produce and try to make it last for like two three weeks it goes bad and even if you put it in water and all those little hacks that people tell you so I just prefer to have my fruit and my produce weekly so it doesn't hurt to go to the store I actually like going to the store my daughter does a lot of um, what do you call it door dashing where people bring her her stuff and she order or she'll order and go pick it up I don't like that and I'm gonna tell y'all why I don't like it because when you do that um, these kids that do that the people that they hire to do that type of work they just be picking up anything your fruit be looking crazy you be looking at your bananas or you looking at stuff like what in the world why did they pick that one and why did they yeah I like to pick my own stuff but now, if you're a busy mom like her with a three-year, with a two-year-old, with my big grandma about to be through turn three, I understand that for somebody like her. But me, I don't have any kids. I don't have nothing to do. Going to the grocery store is an outing for me. So I don't mind weekly going to the store to get my fruit and vegetables. I don't mind that. And I don't actually have a long list. I got my list in my, my bag, but it's not very long. I got like five items on there. But you know I'll pick up more than five items. But I know I just I wrote down these. Five, <clears throat> excuse me, my mouth is dry. I wrote down these five fruits because I don't want to forget. I want to get me some pears and I want to get some peaches. I always pick up grapes and I want I like to switch my fruit up. I don't like to eat the same fruit every single week, which I eat a lot of fruit because I even put fruit in my smoothies. So I'm eating fruits all week. But I try to get some vegetables in my system too. So I'm gonna try to find me some vegetables I can eat. And what else I put on my list? I know I put peaches and pears. And there was something else I put on my list, like two or three other things. I know I wanna switch up on my breakfast. All this week, I don't know why my throat is so dry. All this week and all last week, I did avocados for breakfast, and I want to switch it up this week. So I want something different for lunch for breakfast. I don't know what. I could do smoothies for breakfast, but I don't do smoothies for breakfast because I already be cold. And when after I eat a smoothie, I'm like super freezing. So I'll be wanting some warm. I don't know. You know, I could do like some breakfast tacos. Oh, that sounds good. That does sound good. I think that's what I'll do. days two or three days breakfast tacos and then another day through the week I can do like I haven't done oatmeal or pancakes because I was eating too much maple syrup to where I felt like I was having a sugar attack so I haven't done I love pancakes y'all I make my own pancakes I don't make my own but I mean I make them you know out of the box you know you put the box you put the water <laughs> I don't mean I'm making them scratch don't get me wrong I mean, I could, but I don't have enough time in the morning for that. That would take too much time. And if I'm doing this like on my break for breakfast, I don't have time to be making no pancakes from scratch. Not when they come out the box and you don't gotta do that. 
unless you just really want to. I know I ain't, you know, I ain't saying nothing wrong with you doing that if that's what you want to do. But I don't have time to do that in the morning. I would have time on the weekends to do that, but not on the, in the weekday morning. But I haven't made pancakes because I was trying to stay away from, I love Trader Joe's maple syrup, but I realized I was putting maple syrup in my pancakes, in my oatmeal. I just, I know what my body is saying, you're giving me too much sugar. So I decided to slow down on the pancakes and I haven't eaten pancakes in about, good, about two weeks. So I just, if you guys have any breakfast ideas, I'm, I think I'm going to do something with like a breakfast um, burrito. And I'm thinking, if I'm not, if I'm correct, I think that is it Morning Star or one of those places that do like vegetarian sausage, um, vegetarian food. I think that they have like a vegetarian uh, sausage. I think I might do that. Put some of that in like a. Don't come running out here. Do something like that uh, in a breakfast burrito. I think I'm gonna do breakfast burritos, y'all. I think that's what I'm gonna do. For I don't like to do the same thing for like a whole week, cause then I get tired of it. I'll do that for like two days, and then I'm about to figure out something for the other three days. And I need to figure it out before I go to the store. Because I, if I do that when I'm in the store, I'll get lost. And I'll start buying stuff that I don't need to buy. I'm very um, strategic and strict when I go to the grocery store. Because in the past, I have bought food, took it home, and I'm like, what am I going to eat? And you're like, girl, you just left out the store and you spent $100 and you don't know what you're going to eat. It's because you don't actually purchase stuff to make meals. If you just randomly buy stuff, you'll buy stuff and you'll say, I don't even know what I'm going to cook. After you didn't spend $100. And it's like, what do you mean you don't know what you're going to cook? It's because you didn't prepare and think about meals. You just bought random stuff. So I don't do that anymore. I go with a plan. And my plan be, okay, we're going to make, the, if we're going to make breakfast sausage, then we need tortilla shells. We need um, sausage meat. We got eggs. We need this, we need that. You know what I'm saying? I go with a plan. I don't just randomly go to the store. I don't. And for one, food is expensive. So I don't want to be just randomly out here buying stuff and don't have a plan. So, and I've realized that what I'm doing now, uh, making my meals like I do, it really does save. Because if I was out buying breakfast, lunch, dinner, you can easily, I'm telling you guys, if you buy, and I don't eat that many meals, but let's say I was a person that ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you eat out, breakfast can cost you 10 to $15 nowadays. Breakfast used to be, you could get a whole breakfast for $6. But now places are so expensive. 10 to $15 for breakfast, 15 to 20 for lunch, $20 for dinner. And if you do that five days a week, no, uh-uh. I can go to the grocery store like, I'm on my way to H-E-B. I really don't need a lot because I already have some food already prepared. So I'm really just a breakfast and produce is all I'm really going to get. But let's say I was going to get like a bag of shrimp and then my produce and then some veggies and all of that. I could easily get all of that for $30 to $40. But if I ate out breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that would be a good for the week, I don't know, I don't, how could I average that out? For the week, I would probably spend about $200 or something. It just, it don't make no sense. It don't. I honestly used to do that when I worked outside of the home. Because I wasn't a meal preparer because at that time I felt like I didn't have time. Now I started saying you don't have nothing but time. You got to make time for what is good for you. So... I, um, I prepare my meals and I have frozen meals and I'm not talking about frozen food. I like freeze soup. I freeze, I love soup. And I'm gonna tell y'all why I like soup in the summertime because I'm freezing in my place. And my apartment is so freaking cold. I don't care how I turn this air down, I'm still freezing. 
because I'm just sitting there. And then, because I'm working, I'm sitting there, but I'm working. Um, if I turn it up too high, I'm too hot. It's like no happy medium. I can't find a happy place. So I just have it cold and I just have, I just uh, sit with um, long sleeve socks on. I sleep, I don't sleep. I'm sitting with my, what do you call those socks? I have to think of what I what you call those socks. I'll put it in the video. But I have those socks on my feet. They're long sleeve. And uh, I have a jacket on. I have a blanket sitting at my desk. Yeah, all because I'm cold. And I'm normally not, you know, I haven't been cold since I've been having no hot flashes, but I ain't had no hot flashes in a minute. But I'd be cold because I'll be looking at people, y'all, while I be driving. I was looking at that guy. He had a whole afro. Um, but, um, yeah, I'll be sitting there cold. So I'm like, man, you, it's like your winter time. So that's why I make soup. Ooh, and when I have that soup and toast for my lunch, it'd be so good. It really do. It'd be delicious because I'll be freezing. <laughs> and it warm me up. So that's why I like warm food. And I'm actually not a fan of cold food either way it goes. Only thing I like cold is my fruit. And I don't like my fruit real cold. I take my fruit out and let it sit on the counter before I eat it. Like cold watermelon, I don't care for cold watermelon. I don't really, I'm not a fan of cold food. I don't know why, but I've never been a fan of anything cold. Like I don't eat cold salads. That's why I don't like salad. Because when you go to restaurants, they give you cold salads. And I'm not a fan of cold food. I'm only a fan of warm food. Well, alrighty, guys. I'm here at my daughter's place. I'm going to go in. I'm going to show y'all a little clip of the baby once I get here. Let me put your mom in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 